Hi everyone. Hope everyone's doing all right. I just want to sort of preface this video by saying that I'm sorry that I haven't really been uploading that much recently. I've had my recent graduation from from the University of Manchester and there was uh, some bad news that I was given recently, just a few days before my graduation, that sort of shook me quite a lot. Um, so I wanted just to just to say a little bit about what's happened, and um, hopefully, you know, you guys can understand uh, the kind of situation that I'm in right now. Throughout my time at university, I've struggled quite intensely with uh, my mental health, with uh, depression and anxiety and all the sorts of problems that autistic people have in, uh, in, in life in general. And there's always been this, this one person, this lady at the, the student support office who've really, really been my anchor throughout the whole experience since since like day one, uh, since the first year at my university following up from when I went to Thailand for a year and uh, my last year. This lady, Joanne, has really been my, you know, a, re a really big help in my course and um, I don't think that I would have really been able to cope with university. Um, of course, of course, I've had a lot of support from my friends and family and stuff. But uh, this lady Joanne, she's she's just been amazing for me. She's she's recently she's recently passed away. Um, She's very young, and um, she's helped out a lot of people at university. She's done a lot more than than what is is expected of her. And I just I just wanted to, to take this take this video to uh, to talk about talk about her and and the help that she's given me. So quite it's quite a hard video for me to do. I mean, I've the thing is, is that she's some of the stuff that she's she's done for me is is completely, you know, out of what is required. She she's emailed me, you know, days after if I, if I've come in to the the office where I don't even have an appointment, she would she would talk to me, you know, whether it was a break or lunch. So. She would help me calm down if I was having a meltdown at university. She would offer a shoulder just to talk about some of the problems that I was having. And to be honest, most importantly, she has been there for me when there were some times when I, I I didn't really have any friends at a university, especially in my first and second year, and I I had been through some some problems that that are related to to depression, and she helped me with that. She would ask me to come in if if I I'd send her an email, and she would. And to tell her about it, she'd ask me to come in and we'd talk about it, and she would email me in succession after a lot more than than what's required. You know, whether it was at night or morning, if she saw saw my email or anything like that, she would um, she would help, and she she would try and contact me and and ask me to phone her and ask us us what's wrong and try and solve stuff that was happening with lecturers and deadlines and 
the stress stress of university and it was a really big shock for me when I found out that she passed away she's probably one of the only people at university the, the only staff at university that I wanted to see after a graduation she passed away just um just she passed away about two or three days before before graduation before I could talk to her I know I know it might seem to a lot of you that it's it's a sort of a extreme reaction to to feel like this for you know some university staff but she's just been so great for me she's helped me so much and she's helped other people as well she she would she was an organ donor and you know this the good thing that has come come out of this this horrific event is that you know some people some people really appreciate you know the 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 organs and stuff that she's donated and hopefully it can save other people's lives but it was it was a very sudden thing and i feel i feel absolutely horrible because she sent she sent me an email after my exams and i was i wasn't completely ecstatic about my result although it is a good result i wanted to you know i wanted to exceed my very high expe expectations of myself and I, I didn't talk to any staff after university and i didn't email her back when she you know said congratulations for your results the whole the whole thing the whole thing that happens it just i feel like the people who pass away in my life it's always it's always before before i can see them before i can you know say goodbye before i can thank them for being by my side and supporting me made me think a lot about a lot about what happened with my granddad very recently in the last year or so I wanted to see him and I was away doing doing uni work and passed away before I could say goodbye in person and then this time a few days before a few days before graduation that I could really sort of verbalize how much help she gave me in improving my life and getting this university degree despite having pretty severe mental health conditions it's not great when stuff like this happens and I don't expect that anyone would not be sad about people passing away but I can't do anything now. I don't feel like just ma making this video and let letting everyone know just just how important these, albeit small parts of people's lives, just to support just someone who actually cares about you and wants to support you and help you as much as they can. These people are just so important. And it's, you always need to, you need to always tell people how much they've helped you and you need to verbalize how important they are to you. She was a teacher, support officer that went above and beyond what is expected of her. She genuinely cared about everybody. 
she genuinely wanted to help. She'd been having some family troubles in, in her own life and she still took the time out to email and email in her own time, email at email at uni, any any time that she was needed she would try and help. If I didn't reply to her email when I was in a bad place, she would re- send me a message the next day and the next day to make sure that I was okay. She was amazing. So I I really do apologise for my lack of activity. I was supposed to put a lot more work into it, but all of this has, has been a lot for me to process and anyway with graduation and the planning and trying to find work has been quite hard for me to do not having a routine and it's really just been on the you know the icing on the cake to but it's not this video is is not about me i know it's it never it's never supposed to be about me it's it's about this this wonderful lady who's been a wonderful person to a lot of people and made a difference in people's lives despite you know some of the problems that they have she'd never judge she would never never judge people she'd always believe me when I said that I was trying even when other lecturers or university staff were giving me a hard time about it she would always be on my side and trust that I was doing the best that I can I was such a positive person not positive or not positive in a way that it's dismissive just positive in a way that she had this ability to listen to what you said and acknowledge that you're struggling She acknowledged what you, you were struggling with and she helped you see it in a different light and told you about all the other achievements that you've had and let you know that it's a, it's a blip and give you reassurance in, in a time that you really need it. Very much so. Her family have put together this fund, GoFundMe, this page, this donation page to a, a charity that, that Joanne was really involved with, which is the Manchester Dog Homes, which works on, you know, bringing, bringing dogs into, into places where, you know, people need some care and, and contact and, She's done it quite a lot at the university. She's been a, quite a big staple part of that process of helping students out and giving them, you know, some relief and stress relief from their mental health issues or stress of uni life. So although I I don't expect anyone to anyone to donate if they don't want to, but I will put it in the in the description if anybody wants to support support uh, what Joanne I believe stood for which is care and support and love towards other people. I hope that you understand the the um the place that I'm in right now and I'm I'm trying to deal with it in my own time and stay productive and try and do my best to make sure that you know all the help that she has given me is is taken into account and it won't though it's hard for me it's it's not going to 
stop me from trying my best to make a change in the world and it's quite honestly it's it's made me more motivated to put more effort into trying to do what I do anyway I'm sorry about the, the lack of uploads and I will be I'll be trying to upload as much as I can recently hopefully thanks guys